if you're new jumping right in the cleaning i'm starting out in our laundry area i'm showing y'all my like lavender scented scent beads i think those are my favorite it's the purple ones and i get the unstoppable brand most of the time but i also like the game brand too but just getting some laundry started and then i'm going to wipe down my washer and dryer because they are in need of a deep clean and if i can get ahead on my laundry i can finally wash my washing machine because it needs to be washed i guess it never hit you our conversation takes to paying it some interest from time to time inside all that greatness in all of your All right, so now I'm coming in the bedroom and I'm going to take out all these clothes from this duffel bag. Erin had went on a trip a while back and I had yet to finally take the stuff out of the duffel bag because the dresser is so full of his clothes and hopefully cross some fingers when fishing season is over, which ladies that have husbands that like to fish, answer me this, is fishing season ever over? I don't think so. <laughs> if you're a diehard fisherman fan, you know that they will be on the water any chance they get. So, plus his heart, I'm okay with it. But I was not looking forward to taking out this stuff. <laughs> I think packing a duffel bag or a suitcase is kind of fun because you're looking forward to go somewhere. But unpacking is just, no, it's similar to moving. I just no <laughs> like when you move i feel like i don't like to pack to move but then when i get to a new house i'm like okay i'm excited to unpack it's weird how that works in my brain but i'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down this little end table and i realized that my pictures were dusty so i went ahead and cleaned them off as well and then we'll move to the dresser and the tv stand and clear those off and wipe them down as well our bedroom gets so dusty because it's so close to the back door and we have one of those stand-up fans so I feel like that fan just always is blowing so much dust in our bedroom so I have to wipe down all the surfaces in our bedroom two times a week to keep it to where it does not pile up the dust So now I'm just wiping down the mirror in the bathroom and then I'll go ahead and wipe down the counter as well. And I'm using the Love Make Multi-Surface Cleaner. And I was also going to show you all my soap. It is the Mango Mai Tai from Bath & Body Works. It smells so good. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up in here and then we will get on to the Ross haul. I got one Halloween item and then I got quite a few other 
little things for the house and some new clothes. because I feel like you're really far away from me. All right, I think that's better. So now I'm gonna show you what we picked up from Ross over the weekend. We went on Labor Day. So actually it was Monday. I started filming this Tuesday, but we picked up some home goods items and then I also got a couple of tops. So the first thing I got to show you <laughs> are these scrub sponge heavy duty multi use that's what they're called scrub sponge i want to say sponges because there's six of them in here but the best part about this was they were only four dollars and they have the like microfiber part on the front but then on the back it's more of an abrasive similar to like a brillo pad so i'm super excited to use these and y'all i have a ton of dishes to do today so we're definitely going to be using one of these at least in that and then also i still have so many paint spots on my floor that need to be scrubbed up so i'm going to maybe not in this video but i may i, I need to get on the floor and get those paint spots up i've done it before but we still have some more so they also have like a, a pet section and i got chloe this really pretty pink uh leash right here and she just stared at me because she's like oh i see it she was so so excited to have this because it's so much longer than the one we have now the one we have now is like where i hold it it's almost the only it's like just enough length for her to be on the ground and like walk a couple of steps like it's so short it's not the kind that comes out like that so happy to get this for her because she absolutely loved it and then two other things oh actually i'm wearing two of the things so i can't forget what i have on my feet but i got this sweatshirt the brand is liberty love i got it in 2x they didn't have a 3x normally i love getting 3x clothes because i like to feel like it's covering my butt and i have to get a 3x for it to like go halfway at least okay so this is the one that i picked out i like the little tassel thing at the bottom and then i love this like muted pastel color it's like a teddy almost or like what are the, what are those called like the towel feel i don't know it's super soft but it's not like velvet like my pillow is that i'm going to show y'all six dollars and 99 cents that is crazy to me and then the one well let me just show you what i have in my hands and then i'll move the camera back so y'all can see what i'm wearing today but i picked out and erin also how ooh, how cool is this it says haunted house friday the 13th dying to see you there ages 13 and up and then it has number 13 and then it has a haunted house i absolutely love this i don't know where i'm going to put it when it comes to halloween but we are definitely going to base our halloween theme off of this pillow i'm so excited so my idea for halloween but i want aaron to be involved because he loves halloween and anything spooky um I want him to be involved so this pillow by the way if you wanted to know price it was $9.99 I think that's a really good deal for this pillow right here it's so soft and velvety by the way I love the texture I want Aaron to help me out with the decorating the kitchen uh, it's gonna be tricky because the counters are green <laughs> But I'm not about to cover my counters just to do a Halloween theme that actually fits my house. Not going to do it. Not doing it. Y'all know how much I love my green counters. Anyways, but 
if you have seen the videos before you know our living room is mostly black there we have black chairs we have the tv black the tv stand is black which we want to replace in, in the future and then i have two paintings over in that corner that are also black and white and gray so my idea is to base it off of the living room colors and do black silver and then pops of orange because like you can't do halloween without orange i'm sorry anyway so it is definitely going to be more of like a spooky theme halloween instead of a cutesy theme uh so like witches and which witches aren't spooky let's be real but witches skeletons stuff like that we saw some skulls also at ross and they had like the gold snake coming on like the sides of them and it was a candle and i was like well i wouldn't use it as a candle but i would definitely use it as the core but i think we're just going to stick to the black silver and orange and white i think that would be good so there you go this is a really nice pillow i love it i want to put it out right now but we are not decorating for halloween until after october like I don't know exact date but like I'm gonna let fall run to the end of September and then October we're gonna start decorating for Halloween that's why I decorate for fall so early so that I can enjoy fall for like a couple months and then as soon as October 1st hits I'm like okay it's time for Halloween and then the day after Halloween <laughs> I decorate for Christmas so I have one month of Halloween two months of fall and then probably like four months of Christmas because I leave my Christmas decor up through January and then I take it down so I can decorate for Valentine's Day. But anyways, I'll let me show you what I'm wearing and then we will get back to the cleaning because my kitchen, like I said, I have so many dishes to do because I did not clean over the weekend when it comes to, well, yes I did. But anyways, nonetheless, I'm rambling. I'm just gonna show you what I'm wearing. All right, so this shirt was, I took the tag off, but I'm pretty sure this one was like $13.99 or $12.99, but it does have like a lot of graphics to it. So it says like love on the back and then it has, it love more on the sleeves, which I absolutely love that. And yeah, it says the same thing over here. This has got little white hearts on it. This is more so for Valentine's Day, I think. But we could use some love all year round, can't we? And then, of course, it goes down, like, way down here. I did not think that this shirt was that long. But I got a 3X in this one, and that's what I'm talking about. I love 3X because, for me, I mean, I could wear a 1X or a 2X. But I love the 3X because it's just big enough to where it still fits me and doesn't make me look like I'm wearing like you know a, a trash bag but like it's still flattering is what I'm saying like sometimes you can get a size that's just significantly bigger than you are and at that point it doesn't look flattering anymore you're just covering everything up but with something like this like it fits my arms it fits my chest and it's just loose in the belly area which that's where I want it to be loose. <laughs> Anyways, so I love this and it's great to pair with leggings, but also let me bend down for a second. Oh my goodness. Okay, no, the shirt was probably not. These were, the shirt was probably cheaper than $13.99. These were $13.99. They're like Jessica Simpson fuzzy slippers. They're so comfy though, and now I can clean around my house with these little slippers on. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this, almost a thrift haul. I hope y'all enjoyed this Ross haul. If you've never been to Ross before, go. Oh, it's it's so fun. They have so much stuff. It's similar to like a TG Maxx, a Burke's Outlet, uh, places like that, Big Lots. You know my Big Lots has clothes now, and for the longest time i really didn't go to big lots unless it was for home decor but now they have clothes and i'm like okay i'm not near a mall or anything so every store that i can get to within like 20 minutes 
is like a TJ Maxx, a Big Lots, something like that. So now I'm excited to go to Big Lots and see what kind of clothes they have because I, I love all clothes. I don't care, you know, I'll shop anywhere. Um, as long as it fits my bank account, <laughs> I'll shop anywhere. Okay, enough rambling. I love y'all, you know that. That's why I chat your little heads off. Okay, so now, clean the kitchen, Kimberly. That's what you're supposed to be doing today. many dishes to wash <laughs> anyways so I'm curious if you wash dishes by hand what are the types of dishes that you just cannot stand washing and you may or may not put them off until last minute mine is silverware so we have a few plates and a few bowls to clean but as you can see the biggest pile over there that needs to be done is silverware and I put it off for a couple of days <laughs> <laughs> and then I will clean everything and I have been cooking a lot more lately so now I'm noticing like how much silverware there is to clean I just see her face where ever I look she's standing in the crowd Also to do my dishes, I'm using one of those new sponges that I showed y'all and I'm also using the Dawn dish liquid and I wanted to say the sponges work really well so if you go to your Ross and you find them then I would say go ahead and give them a try because on the dishes that had stuck on uh, food particles and stuff like that I was able to easily get them off using the abrasive side of the sponge. I'm so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. throw some scents in my wax warmer and this one is the fall into autumn and it's an apple crisp 
scent. It smells really good and it is from Walmart. So I'm using Comet to clean out my sink right now. I'll do the other side later on off camera when I can put away all these dishes. And then after this spot, we're going to put up all the chairs. That way I can vacuum and mop in the kitchen. And also it will be easier for me to wipe down the kitchen chairs if they are on top of the table. So to clean my floors, I'm using the Swiffer pad and I have the, it's by the brand Glad trash bags and it's the heavy duty one. So I feel like it has a little bit more moisture to it than the regular ones and it is just as affordable as the Swiffer brand. So 
So now I'm waiting for the floor to dry and the kitchen. I'm just gonna clean off the washer and dryer. That way I can put all the clothes in the dryer. And it's funny because y'all have recently saw me wipe off the washer and dryer. And <laughs> I feel like I use the washer and dryer while I'm cleaning as like a dumping ground for things that I just need to get out of the way, but I don't have a spot for them, like our sodas that I just, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> also, Diet Pepsi sucks. <laughs> Coke Zero or Pepsi Zero is so much better, but I got all my new sponges put away, and then I'm gonna go back in the kitchen and put all of the chairs down. So now my diffuser, I'm using Valor by Young Living. Not associated, not a distributor, nothing like that. I just like the Valor and the Christmas spirit and I can't find those anywhere else. So I just go ahead, bite the bullet and get them from the only place I know that carries them. We spent a lot of time in the kitchen today, but it was all worth it. Now I'm heading into the living room and we are going to straighten up this mess. I need to vacuum, pick up all this stuff, and then I have a ton of laundry, like I said earlier, that needs to be folded. So we're just gonna go ahead and do all that. So I hope you enjoy the music that plays. And if you haven't got up yet already to clean and you need to clean something, just take five minutes, go somewhere, clean it up and then come back and tell me what you cleaned. Only for a moment, only for a while.
All right, now it's time for dinner. Aaron will be home very shortly, so I like to prepare our dinner before he gets home. And tonight I'm making some eggplant pizza sliders, and I used the shake and bake seasoning uh, for the eggplant. That way it's a little bit more crispy and it does not get soggy. But I've tried to cut them up really thick because when they cook, they could get soggy if they're too thin. So I would say half an inch for each slider and then in the pan I'm just grounding up some hamburger meat and then I'll add the spaghetti sauce to it whenever it's cooked thoroughly. So I put my sliders in the oven for 20 minutes and then halfway through so the 10 minute mark flipped them over and I did it for 400 degrees so it cooked super fast and then I also made some pasta for Aaron because he is not a fan of eggplant but I have to say I did not taste the eggplant at all. Now if you have someone in your family or you also have some sensory sensitivity when it comes to textures and food then I would suggest peeling off the purple part of the eggplant because the texture is a lot different than the um, eggplant itself on the inside that's the only thing I noticed for me is I don't really like the texture of the purple outer side because it's not as soft as the inside of it but this is what it looks like now. I put the hamburger meat and the spaghetti sauce on top and then I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the oven. When I flipped it over I let it cook a little bit longer and then I added the sauce and then I also added some shredded cheese and I just let that in there long enough for the cheese to melt and then I pulled it out and this is what it looked like. I paired it with some garlic bread and it tasted so good. So if you do try this, let me know. Um, you could also add like egg wash or milk or whatever have you to make it more of a breaded texture. But I just wanted something to coat the eggplant in case it was gonna get soggy. That um, mixture could kind of soak that up a little bit. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video and you got a ton of inspiration and motivation from it. And let me know if you cleaned or cooked or what you did during this video. I like chatting with y'all in the comments and I'll see y'all back here very soon. Bye!